Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijev and how is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Modern Minecraft. I've got so much to show you guys, I'm sorry. Um, my microphone is acting up really badly. Like, I'm not sure if it's the USB port or what is going on, but it'll just act like it's not recognized. And when I go to record, um, it just doesn't record the audio. And but it says it's plugged in and like I'm getting lights and I'm getting like voice recognition from every and from everything So it's like it's saying it's there, but it's not being picked up and I don't know what's wrong and it's bugging me <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys are all doing good today I got a lot done and it was all recorded and then I checked the audio and there was no audio So let's go over what I have done today first off. I made the watering can which I you know I made three IC2 machines uh, those were off camera. So you didn't see those I made the um, generators and then I kind of cleaned up a little bit here. I'm also using a new texture pack Let me know what you guys think about this. It is uh, the faithful 32 texture pack just for modded but um Yeah, I also made a tool forge because I had to make a lumber axe So the beginning of the episode was pretty much just finishing up uh, the tool forge and getting everything into place um, because we had to uh, metal form uh, steel, which I had been making for a while. And I think we have a decent supply of steel now, uh, which it doesn't seem to be. We have 30 steel plus the block. Okay, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, so I got the machines done. The lasers will be up and functional very soon. And then, then the first project we were doing today, which I've already finished, is this machine over here that I've been working on. Uh, we need charcoal, right? We need charcoal or something to power our machines. And this is what this station is. So basically what I need to do is I just need to put these here. And I have been tinkering with this for a while uh, to try and get this to work, right? So here, there we go. So basically what happens is you use the watering can to uh, grow the uh, saplings, which we'll do now. And you're probably wondering like why it looks like this is because the sapling growth in this pack is super weird like and what i mean by that is like sometimes they'll grow sometimes they won't grow um and it just makes it hard to figure out what is what so basically we'll mine this with our lumber axe and have magnet mode on and ruin the whole thing <laughs> let's try that again i keep forgetting that i have to turn magnet mode off when i do this but it's uh, basically what happens is the hoppers collect everything uh, and then it just leaves everything inside and then the wood gets smelted. So we'll stand here So basically everything's gonna get picked up. Uh, it might take a second or two uh, The only things that don't get picked up are the hoppers on top Which I'll just walk over there and grab so there's a there's a little bit left and I'll throw the rest of these in here Because that needs it on this side more so once that's finished um, the wood gets put into here on top um, and then once that's done, there's pipes on the bottom that put the charcoal into the chest. Uh, so this is a transfer node with a rationing pipe that's going to leave one stack in here at all times. And it's going to have a backup stack. And then once that overflows, it's going to start filling into the chest. Now, once that's into the chest, it's going to do the same thing on this side. So basically what we have is a very simple, um charcoal production plant here that's really really efficient and really easy to use we don't use any bone meal and all we have to do is worry about the durability of our axe because everything else is taken care of uh, initially i wanted to do it a little bit more automated but after learning basically that these trees basically never grow uh it was very hard because uh, if you look at my chest over here i had a bunch of other stuff that i was using i used um these block placers to place the saplings down i had everything running automatically but i could not get the trees to grow because the trees are being a pain in the butt <laughs> and on top of all the audio issues that i'm having it's like Bleh. but i'm i promise i'm getting an episode out today so uh, i just want to try it one more time there we go and so it looks like the only issue we're having is uh, some items getting stuck, basically. Other than that, it looks like it's running pretty smoothly. Uh, we have plenty backup of wood. So eventually all these will smell down and look really, really well. Um, yeah. I mean, eventually, uh, you know, it might be smart to have a faster furnace, maybe an iron furnace. Uh, but I'm not sure that I have too much iron. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there was anything else I did off camera or during the film that uh, did not work. I'm actually kind of excited 
to uh, test these out. I want to I want to see how fast these lasers work because each one of these lasers is going to have dedicated power now, and um, so what we'll do is we'll let's go grab some some charcoal. Just grab you and a little bit of you. There we go. So then we'll I want to power these and see how fast these work because this is gonna be awesome. I think the longest part of all of this entire setup that you see here was making the watering can. It doesn't even work the way I wanted it to. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. So these should actually get full power, I think. They'll turn blue if they're full power. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Why is this one not going? Was it, I guess this has got to fill up first. I'm not sure that I want to keep that there, then. If that's just going to fill up with power. That's not good. Okay, we got to move that, then. That's kind of dumb that that's got to fill up with power like that. Oh my god, look at it go! It's so much faster! That is wonderful! Oh my goodness, that is awesome! Oh, that's so good. Okay, so does this one have to... I guess that one doesn't need to fill up with power. That's kind of weird. You would think that this one would be the same, but whatever. I guess eventually it'll fill up with power and then this laser will kick on. But other than that, uh, I think we're all caught up now. Let's go ahead and move on with something that actually has audio. Okay, guys, so I want to try something I've never done before. And that is using a mod called Immersive Engineering. I've never messed with it before, and I'm very curious as to how it works, because I've seen a lot of people use it. And it kind of looks awesome, i got to be honest with you. So what we are going to do is we're going to cast um, some copper here. So we'll let that go for a minute. In the meantime, we need to smelt some clay down. He's probably use some saplings. I think we're only going to mess with... Um, Let's see, we're going to need hardened clay. I forget how many that makes. Uh, does it make... Oh, so you have to smelt it into one. Okay. Uh, so we need to do it a little bit different than it needs to be this right here. There we go. Uh, so I'll do you and you. There we go. Now, uh, I'm kind of curious as to how this works. Now, on the website, these things will uh, transmit power from anything. So we might be able to power our IC2 machines with these generators, if that's the case. So um, I don't know if I have another redstone clock. I do. Okay, I have a bunch of redstone clocks. Let's go ahead. We'll cast that copper. And let's see. I'm, I'm going to make... Um, let's start off with, like, whatever, six of these or whatever. We're going to need eight in total because we need two more. Um... We're also going to need copper coils as well. So it takes three copper for those. That makes eight. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. Uh, copper. All right, let's go ahead and craft this. There we go. There we go. So that makes the low voltage one. And then we're going to need copper coil. I'm pretty sure to connect these. And that is this right here. So we need treated stick and four copper, which we do have. Um, you. Let's go make some sticks. So treated stick and we need four copper. Take that. And okay, so you, 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 and you. Now, I don't know how this works. So we could probably explode our machines here if we try. Uh, do I just... Okay. So that's not getting any power. That doesn't have any power either, though. Let me remove this. And uh, I'm going to turn magnet mode back on. There we go. Now, I'm going to run out there and grab some charcoal. Because I want to use charcoal for the, those generators. Um, okay, so let me grab some of that. And these should be able to transfer power to pretty much anything. It's from what I've read. Uh, I've never used them before, though, so I'm kind of curious to see how this works. That, my friends, is freaking awesome. So these cables, uh, there's three different tiers of these. Uh, let me look at these. Wire connectors. There is low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage. I don't know what the voltage between them is, but um, that's pretty awesome. i got to be honest with you. So... Um, can I, like, 
It's a little bit hard to walk through those, though, to be honest with you. Um, if we use them, we'd probably want to hide them, but we can definitely connect them together and even make a better power grid, almost. Uh, so, you... You, 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 you. There we go. So that's gonna burn and fill up. Um, it's probably something like that and that. Oh, I need a uh, connector there. Um, and you. And you. Well, actually. So how do I, how do I, do I just break this then? Like, and I got my copper coil back. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So all of our machines should have power. That's freaking awesome. Let's test it, uh, you. So how is that? It's not really losing power. Is any of these other ones losing power? That's gaming. Well, that, my friends, is a game changer. <laughs> this thing is awesome, dude. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely going to have to use these in the future. Because we just, I mean, let's test it. Um, this one has no power in it. This one is, I'm going to stop burning power for that. I'm going to let that run out. Because I, I just want to see, I guess since this already has power... It wouldn't matter, but I just want to kind of see how much power it's going to use to kind of get a baseline test. Because we can definitely use these for everything now. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, looks like that's going to get close to full. Okay, so all of our power is good to go. So that's going to run through. Is it using any power from this side or that side? Okay, so it's using power. And that is like nothing power. So we were at like 94,000, I think. So it used a little bit, but still, that's freaking awesome. Okay, guys. So next up, I've decided that it is time that we make ourselves a, uh, a room here. Can I smelt these? No, I cannot. All right. So I'm out of copper, um, but it's fine. I want to make a couple more coils here. Or one more coil because that's all I can make, but... Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. So we, I've made a room down below here, and we are going to use this as our little machine room for now, um, because we really don't have much stuff going on, but it will be nice to sort of have those machines uh, down here rather than uh, up on the floor there. So let me get this all cleaned up. Trying to be Mr. Perfectionist still. I like being a perfectionist. It is my favorite. There we go. So what I'm thinking is that we go here, here, and here. So um, I guess the only problem would be if I do that, uh, it's going to make it hard to connect the, all the machines together. Uh, let's get our coils out. And you, 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 you. So that connects all the power together. So where do we want to put our machines, though, is the problem. Um, the IC2 machines can literally go, like, right here. We only have three of them. Um, let's see. You, 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 you. And, um, so that'll... It's kind of a shame that those... The, the way the power works with this is that it doesn't... Uh, go a little bit different, but so we've got our IC2 machines there. I wanted to figure out a way to connect the lasers to this. I'm just not sure how, because I, I would need more, but uh, this is definitely going to be our machine room. There's got to be a way to make this work. Like, I, I wonder if there's like a, like a, like a spool or something. I guess, can I just put this on anything? Oh, I can. I didn't think I could do that. Maybe we cha change it up a little bit then. Because we could just technically just, you know, take all that out of there and break this. We could really just, um... Oops. We could, uh, do it like this. 
We could run that as sort of like an interstate line across there, just like so. And have the laser sitting over here or something. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out, though. I do like it. I, it's, it's cool. There's all kinds of ropes and stuff. So we've got a machine room. It's in progress. It's going to take us a little bit of time to figure out how we're going to use these, though. Um, it might even be smart to just run them on the sides down there or something like that. I don't know. That would be kind of weird for walking, though. Right, so I want to go to the nether next, guys. Uh, I've been looking at what I want to do as for, like, you know, mining and stuff, because we can't keep going to the Twilight Forest. We need to have a better mining setup. So I'm thinking about trying to make mining turtles. Now, most of this, this will be easy, because we have a carpenter. Um, this will be, basically just need diamonds for this, I think, because it's just refined. So diamonds and obsidian. And uh, what else was it? I think there was something else we needed. Okay, so just diamonds, obsidian, and iron for that reinforced steel or reinforced wheels or reinforced metal. So the hardest part of this entire thing is going to be this overclock unit, which is going to require 10k coolant. So 10k coolant, it, there's no recipe showing, but I know how to make it, right? Uh, to make the 10k coolant, you need a canning machine and uh which is this guy right here which is easy to make that's not the problem the problem is to make the 10k coolant is you need lapis dust which is this stuff right here and there's only two ways to get it you can either get it by macerating which we don't have uh and a macerator the reason why we don't have a macerator is because it's incredibly hard to make uh, we don't have a pulverizer, but there's a grindstone, but we need nether lapis for that. So, we are going to take a little trip to the nether, uh, look around and see what the nether's like in this pack, and see if we can find ourselves some nether lapis. Uh, it would also be kind of cool to maybe get some bone meal while we're there, or try to get some bone meal while we're there. And the flint and steel was made out of steel, unfortunately. Uh, so we had to waste a piece of that. There we go. Alright, so uh, let me get my health full really quickly. There we go. Alright, let's go into the nether and see what is what. And see if it's anything difficult or anything like that. Uh, no? Yes? Maybe so? Hello? <laughs> I love... Don't you love how long it takes to load? Okay. So, we got a relatively decent spawn. I have no idea where I'm at. It looks like I'm on a platform or something. Oh, wow. We're pretty far up high, though. Well, I, I would have to say that that was pretty successful. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> What's down here, though? Okay, so pretty big drop. I want to go over there. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a way over there or not. Let's see if we can... We might be able to, to die. <sighs> yep, that happened. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I had Vein Miner. Okay. So this is a huge problem. How are we going to get over there without dying? Um, well... And I can't get out of my base because I closed it. Well then. Don't you guys just love Vein Miner sometimes? Isn't it just fantastic? So can I open... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to break that. That's fine. Alright, let's see if we can get our stuff back. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder how much I actually broke. I'm glad I didn't fall in the lava though. I'm glad I was smart enough to not die in the lava. Alright. So we broke a pretty good chunk of land there. Alright, so that does not look that bad. Uh, the sketchiest part of this whole thing right now is getting across this. And I might actually go that way. I'm gonna go here. I think I'm gonna turn. I should be able to survive that drop. Yeah, I'll be able to survive once I get to there. Oh, we have another fortress over there, too. That's cool. 
I don't think I'm ready to mess with that just yet. And no, don't main mine. Bad Jevin. Hmm. There we go. I'm trying to make it as safe as possible. I don't want to die again. I can't believe we died. That's hilarious. There we go. Alright, so let's go get our stuff back. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Um, okay, so you can get down here, no problem. And is it on peaceful? It is on peaceful. What the heck? I have that problem over and over again. It gets really annoying. Okay, I say I should have collected everything because I had magnet mode on. I got a soul shard somehow. You, yeah, you, yeah, you. Yeah. My little helmet didn't help me any. Okay. So that's good. Now, while we're here, I'm never sure when we're going to need bone meal. So that's pretty important for me to get. And we can definitely collect this tower of it. So can I vein mine this? Can I vein mine this? I can vein mine that, but it does not let me collect the rest of it. Okay. So what's this for? Um, 12 bone meal. Uh, six bone meal, and I'm sure the last one's a little worse. Okay, not bad, not bad. So I can collect all that. Is there anything else here I want to take with me? I don't know if I can collect uh, this, though. No, I can't collect that, so I need at least the mining level of cobalt. Um, I think if I mine the quartz, I will make those dudes mad. So let's head back, and I just want to grab that and make the, obs or the, the what we need... Uh, we might make the canning machine, too, because I do want to try and get an overclocker started, at least. I wonder how much is here. One piece. Fantastic. And it sounded like there was a pigman. They must be right under me or something. What's that? Uh, I don't see any other blue ore. All right. Um, I, well, I guess this will have to do for now. Alright, so, let's go. If we have enough stuff, I will make what I need. It just depends on if we have enough or not. Uh, uh excuse me. Man, my throat is groggy today. Alright, so. That's the one thing about our gate I don't like. There we go. So I should be able to... Okay, I can open that now. Alright, so I want to make a canning machine. So what do we need for that? Uh, we need a circuit. I don't know if I have any rubber. We'll have to check that first. Uh, where would the rubber even be? We have five raw rubber. So I don't think we're even going to have enough for that. I don't have any cable over there. Okay, so the whole canning machine idea is not going to work. Uh, I do want to make a quartz grindstone and stuff eventually. Um, is there any rubber trees out here? We might just be able to grab a quick... Well, never mind. We can just grab you. There we go. And we got four there and we'll grab the other ones. The rubber in this pack with this look is ugly. Ugly! Alright, so... You. And we'll get that smelting. Um, you know, the one thing I think that's going to bug us is the copper. Uh, what else do we need for this? We're going to need tin, uh, refined iron. Okay, so, uh, you know what? I don't think this is going to work right now because we just moved all of our machines. I think what we're going to do is I will get the machine room set up for next time. Uh, when we come back, we'll work on the canning machine, get that started so we can start making the overclockers for the turtles, uh, and then we will move on. But uh, the, the technical issue is kind of ruined today for me, i got to be honest with you. And I'm sorry that reflected into this video. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good one. This is I, Jevin.